attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. What up, everyone? It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on IG at the real underscore O Barber Brand and at Nation of Podcation on Instagram and TikTok. So, Ja Rule sends Diddy a message after all these allegations and claims have surfaced. Now, we all know Diddy is one of the biggest black moguls, one of the biggest moguls in the world, period. He has all sorts of business ventures, such as Bad Boy Records, which gave us greats like Biggie, Mace, Lil Kim, Faith Evans, The Locks, etc., etc. Now, Diddy has also been known to live that party lifestyle, having some of the Hollywood craziest parties and some of Hollywood's elite and music elite at his home and at major nightclubs all over the world. Diddy was also co-owner of Ciroc and also has his own Tequila De Leon. Now, recently, Diddy has been in the news, but for all the wrong reasons. He was recently accused of some heinous acts with his former girlfriend, Cassie. Everything is all alleged. No trial ever came, and Diddy settled out of court for a few million. Then this tornado, this whirlwind came out of nowhere, and all of these females and males have come out accusing Diddy of all kind of assault charges. Now, at this point, Diddy's lost a lot of endorsements and has gone into some sorts of a hiding. Diddy's usually outside with it. He's posting on Instagram. He's going to parties. He's going out having a good time, bragging about how he's doing this, spending money here, living his life doing this. But here recently, he has been Agent Dark Zero. Now, Ja Rule spoke out in a recent interview sending his best wishes to Diddy and said if he did what he did, then he should pay the punishment that comes with it. But if those are accusing him or fabricating these stories to extort him, then they should receive a serious punishment of their own. Let's listen to this clip from Ja Rule as he explains. Another black man in this industry going through some unfortunate, you know, circumstances. And so, you know, I wish I wish him luck as well with, with everything he's going through. And, you know, I, I you know, and, and, and if it. So Ja Rule does wish Diddy luck through all of these issues. The fall from grace has been epic for Pete Diddy. Some thinks his image may never recover. So we'll see what happens going forward. Let's tune back into Ja Rule. His victims in this, you know, I, if, you know, I, I, I can't speak on things that I don't know about Pierce. And so I, I wish everybody, you know, love. You know, it's it's a it's a very um, unfortunate thing for 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 the victims of these you know uh, situations, and you know for the for the for the people who are also you know being accused of these situations. All right, so you got to respect what Ja Rule said there because he showed the respect for the victims, the alleged victims in this situation. But it is a very sensitive subject, so let's tune back in and see what else Ja Rule has to say about it. So, um, I believe in, in, in justice, and I believe in the, you know, the crime fitting the, you know, the punishment fitting the crime. I believe in that as well. And, and if people get convicted of the things that these people are saying, then they should be put in jail. But Okay, so he does say the person being accused, if they did those crimes, they should be in jail. So you got to respect that, too. If you did some of those crazy crimes that people are accusing you of, yeah, you got to do the time. Let's tune back in. I also believe on the flip side, if people are lying about these things, they should also be taken to court, tried and be put in prison as well. And there you have it. Ja Rule said if these alleged victims are caught lying, caught fabricating these stories to extort Diddy, then they should be punished as well. This is another black mogul gone down. Until all the facts come out, we don't know what's true and what's been made up. I'm going to have to agree with Ja Rule on just about everything he said here. If Diddy did it, then he needs to be held accountable for his actions. If not, then those accusing him need to suffer their own set of consequences. Now, I'm looking forward to what 50 Cent has to say here he's been a big troll to both of these guys over the last few years and especially Ja Rule over the last 20 years they've been going back and forth and him recently with Diddy them they've been going back and forth on social media especially with all these allegations that have been popping up well I know Floyd Mayweather said some stuff like this trying to give Diddy some love or give him some respect in his interview and 50 Cent called out Floyd Mayweather you know how tight Floyd and 50 Cent used to be but they got this whole frenemies thing going on 
with their own situation. Once again, if Diddy did these crimes, then he is gonna have to sit down or pay or whatever comes with that crime, he's gonna have to face. Same as R. Kelly, same as Bill Cosby. You just gotta face it. Now on the flip side to that, I'm a big believer in all of these folks who are accused of him of doing something. If he didn't do it, whatever time, whatever punishment, whatever convictions he was gonna face, they should face those same convictions and have to face that same charge just because this man could be sitting down in jail like R. Kelly could have to pay millions and millions and millions in fines and these people out here that just want to make up something to try to bid a quick cash grab they need to be held accountable as well once again if they are real victims and did he did what he did so be it he needs to sit down and I hope he does pay for those crimes nation what do you think about P. Diddy's situation do you think he did it do do you think he's innocent? Do you think it's somewhere in the middle? What do you think about Ja Rule's comments? Let me know in the comment section down below and make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.